How's guys? What's going on? My name is Prashant. Welcome back to Tech Scene ZA. Today, we're talking about my travel tech. So it's a continu continuation of my everyday tech. So one of the questions were, what sort of travel tech do you move with? And I mean, I've been to Comic-Con, I've been to Rage. There's a lot of other events that have been lined up for 2022, which we are looking forward to. So let's take a look at my camera bag. So on the outside, we have my full length uh, tripod. The full length tripod, I think it extends to about 1.5 or 1.7, somewhere there. The bag itself, it's an Ultimax bag that actually came with our DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. We used it for the, with the Zoom for a while and then actually moved it towards using it for the camera bag, right? So let's take a look at what's inside the bag. Right, so we met with a lot of things. The main thing, obviously this main compartment right here, which is empty right now, but that compartment is for the Sony ZV-E10, which is my main go-to camera. It's equipped with a 30mm Sigma lens, and then you can see I have an additional lens right here, which is the Sigma 16. So this is a lens that allows us for a little wider shot, and I mean, we've done a full a review of the ZV E10. You can check that video out. And I mean, our lenses just give us more range with the stuff that we're doing, right? So apart from our main camera, something else tied to the main camera, we have a gimbal. And our gimbal is the Xiaomi Crane M2. I'll be honest, I own the gimbal, but I don't like to use it. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just lazy to learn and actually use it. But we have the Crane M2 and associated with our camera, the gimbal is for stabilization. The next thing we have is the Boya BY-MM1, which is also currently not in this bag, it's on the camera. The Boya BY-MM1 is our cardioid microphone. It's just sits on the camera and it picks up excellent audio, comes with a dead cat and it comes with the ability to connect to your camera as well as to your smartphone via cable. But what I'm hoping to do is to move to wireless audio sometime in the near future, saving up for that. So yeah, we have that. Then the next compartment we have right here is what I like to call my sort of action camera compartment. So the first thing we have is our GoPro Hero Session 4. It's in its frame. And I mean, it has its SD card installed, it's always charged up and it stays in my bag for those quick run and gun sort of uh, shots that require an action camera. The next thing we have in our action camera slot is actually the Insta360 Go. So this is something that's a little more discreet than the Hero Session 4. So why I say it's discreet, right? You can see how tiny this is. And no one actually thinks that it's a camera because it has a magnetic uh, pendant, which I'll yeah, just grab it out of here. It actually has a magnetic pendant and a couple of other cool uh, attachments. But basically the magnetic pendant, if I put it on there, I can just pop it on like that. And it's a little more discreet than having a big action camera. All right, so that's that. And the last thing we have in our action camera slot is the Insta360 ONE X2. Right. And it's a really cool piece of kit because this is a 360 camera. And I mean, if you follow me on social media, you would have seen some of the shots that we've got. I haven't been actually fully using this to its potential and I'm actually working into learning how to shoot with this properly and getting that amazing 360 footage. It records a 360, 8.7K, and it has four omnidirectional audio uh, mics, has a touch screen for control. I actually haven't officially reviewed this item because it's so much to actually look out for. But yeah, you can look forward to seeing the Insta360 ONE X2 review very, very soon. All right. And then the next bit of kit we have here 
is what I like to call the accessory panel, right? So you've seen all the accessories for the Insta360 Go, and you can see I am a bit of an organized freak. Keep everything in a plug bag so it's not getting thrown around. Um, we have a power bank, we have the feet for the Xiaomi Crane 2, we have um, also parts for the Xiaomi Crane M2, we have a little full light. That We have a bag uh, strap clip for the uh, Hero Session 4. That's where I find myself actually using it a lot. I just clip it to the shoulder strap of the bag and I'm recording and it's not me actually pulling my phone out and that sort of thing. And then the last two things, it's just um, ND filters that we use on the camera. All right, and then coming up here is actually a little a cool tech we have some marketing stuff some texting that is stickers and uh, uh, key rings then we have packet micro micro usb um, usb c cables that we always move with just a couple of microfiber clocks to clean the lens and then on the side we have a strap for the camera we have our sd card container and the most important thing is actually this so this is a USB-C hub that I use to connect to my phone and then the S8 and then what I can do while we're out in the field at events, you can just pull the, S the memory card out of the camera, plug it in here, download the footage or the pictures or whatever and then upload it immediately. So we're getting high quality content straight to you immediately from events. So I mean it, this isn't the biggest bag and it isn't the most expensive bag it mostly gets the job done. So why I say it mostly gets the job done, you can see how full the bag is with the little bit of stuff that we have. And that's excluding the camera and the microphone actually being here. But also, um, when, I, when I was at Rage, I mean, the tripod was hanging out, just swinging, tapping me every couple of minutes. And the, the most irritating thing was the fact that my water bottle couldn't fit in the side of the bag. And then I had documents and stuff that was with me that just got squashed in this bag that um, I needed to actually give someone at the event. So the bag, I mean, I'm leaning to getting a new bag, but I'm not just there yet. But yeah, that's been my travel tech. I'd actually like to hear from you guys and see what you think about our gear. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like rating if you did. Guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant and I'll catch you in the next video.